So I put up a community post on my channel and it was a question and it asks, what is the biggest challenge you wish you could overcome this year as a YouTuber or content creator? And what I have here to show is a response. And this actually is a response to this community post in the first comment that it received, as well as a comment on a video I put up earlier this morning about a dip in my YouTube ad revenue and monetization. Uh, and I just wanted to talk to you guys and get your opinion on these responses. Number one, uh, we've got a comment here from uh, Thurston Farrell. Thank you for the updates. Appreciate it. You're welcome. And uh, J87 Waldo in response to the biggest challenges for uh, YouTube and content creation that they wish to overcome this year is actually becoming a content creator. So. How do you feel about that being a challenge of becoming a content creator as we did talk about this a little bit mm -hmm. yesterday? Well, I mean, it is difficult for some people to step out of their comfort zones and hit that record button on their camera and know what they want to talk about and things like that. So it's understandable that the biggest hurdle would be actually starting it, especially if you're an introvert or if you, um, because you've never done anything like that before, maybe you're worried about how to do it or how it comes across or what to talk about or whatever else. So now I'm seeing a flood of content that identifies the problem, focuses mm -hmm. on the problem, harps in, hones in, drills down on the problem. Mm -hmm. And that's just it. Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. How about we get a solution? Now, obviously this is going to be the end all be all solution to the trouble of actually becoming a content mm -hmm. creator. But I will say that uh, you need to pull out your phone or a camera and press record or a webcam and mm -hmm. press record because oftentimes, well, I need a microphone. No, you don't. No, no you don't. Okay, well, uh, nobody wants to see me. Okay, turn the camera around. Yeah. Cover the camera. Show something else. Show, yeah. Podcast it, just use your voice. Show the scenery, show something. Mm -hmm. Granted, easier said than done, Yeah. but I don't wanna just sit here and present the problem of becoming a content creator is the biggest problem and leaving it at that. Yeah. Well, also, if you're worried about it, the easiest thing to do, in my opinion, is hit record and just get used to talking into the camera before you upload a video. And never tell anyone you know that you're doing it. Never tell anyone you know that you're doing it. Uh, even if you're, you know, hoping to get subscribers, don't do it. I mean, if you're married, don't. tell your spouse, but. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Besides that. But I, I, I realized today I have another channel and I just realized that it has seven videos on this channel that I've never published. Huh. I I, it, I keep loading it with more stuff and I'm just not letting it go. I, I just, it's, but if you do that and then you get used to it, you get comfortable, then you got this backlog, this library, this catalog of content, then it's easier to have become that content creator because you already have. Mm -hmm. You just haven't let the world know yet. Yeah. So maybe it's not so much as publishing the videos, but recording and uploading the videos. Yeah. Recording and uploading the videos and maybe watching them back yourself and then thinking to yourself, well, I could do this different or I could do this better. Record and upload, not publish, and keep do doing that until you get to the point of, I'm, okay, I'm ready to do this. You know what's funny? I don't watch my own videos. You don't need when to. When you put my videos on TV to watch, I'm like, oh, no, stop it. I don't want to watch myself or hear myself. I don't watch my own videos. I made them. I, I know what they sound like. And I look at myself in the camera um, and the, on the cell phone. So I know, generally speaking, what they look like. And I just say, all right, and I'm done. I will say I haven't watched my videos. But I'm willing to bet that because of the way that I'm building my content moving forward, I could potentially watch my videos but maybe not immediately, maybe like a year from now, because it'll be a reminder. It'll be uh, a journal, a diary, mm -hmm. uh, whatever to say, all right, what was I doing then? Where was I? What was I thinking? What happened? You know, I was thinking you how many gray it, hairs did I have? You should call it Kevin's log instead of captain's log. <laughs> it's Kevin's log. Now, real quick, I want to say thank you to Ileana. Ileana. Uh, because uh, Ileana bought me five coffees. So thank you for that, Ileana. And um, I'm not going to show Ileana's message because the message was private. I think it was private for a reason, but thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Now, we're going to get into this last comment here in response to the video I put up this morning of my channel it took a drastic decline, ad revenue and monetization, growing a new ch channel and uh, changing your audience niche, which I'm excited to attempt to try and execute on and see how long it takes and what I identify along the way so that I can have this personal experience and case study to provide to others who are saying, I've got a channel, I've got a core audience. I might've gone viral for some of the wrong reasons, but I wanna fix that and change it without necessarily starting over. And I can say, well, I've done it. And here's what's to, here's what's to you should expect. Yeah. You know, so, um, this comment says just by watching other YouTubers talk about the decline of their funds reminds me of how the gig economy was hit in the same regards. It started off slow, but went full speed. I personally believe that everyone who's freelancing will get hit eventually. No one's safe at this point. Now, this is a comment with a tone and direction based on where we once previously were, or at least where I was. And uh, I'm okay with that. I get it. But I do have a little bit of an opinion and rebuttal, or at least my side and my take on this, for which we can then go back and forth and debate and discuss if you choose to. Do you have anything to say first? Um, I think... It will always be an ebb and flow in every uh, job, in every market, everything. So I don't think it's, you know, gig work's going to be done or gone or any of that kind of stuff. But just like restaurants have ups and downs, you know, during the holidays and weekends, it's busier than on a Tuesday afternoon. Your grocery stores are busier at a certain hour during the day than other hours. You're, you know what I mean? I think everything has ebb and flow. Evolution. No business is safe without yeah. evolution. Yeah. And evolution can mean that your business is going to go out of business. But that doesn't mean you stop mm -hmm. pursuing business. You just have to change the business. Mm -hmm. And uh, Evolution also means your business could grow. Absolutely. And so no, one side, uh, no one's safe at this point. I personally believe that everyone who's freelancing will get hit eventually. Now, I'm not arguing that. But here's my take on it. As we spoke today, this morning, walking the beach on a video that you guys probably will never see on this channel, we talked about how you can monetize your content from day one. Mm -hmm. And essentially how you can monetize your business through your content, not relying and banking on YouTube AdSense and ad revenue to pay you or Google to pay you. So here's my opinion about this comment and the future of freelancing and gig work is that most gig work is tied to a particular function, mm -hmm. job, duty, gig, whatever it may be. Um, but YouTube, YouTube has a lot of upside, huge potential, because if you're an Uber driver, you're an Uber driver. If you're a DoorDash or Grubhub or Walmart Spark or whatever it may be, Lyft, you can have all the lights on, which is cool. But if you don't get any orders, if you don't get any fares, if you don't get any tips, then what do you get? What do you have? What is your alternative solution? Mm -hmm. Get more apps, Get uh, wrap your car, Put the banner, uh, the billboard on the roof. That's, yeah. you know, gig yeah. work. Now, gig work can actually also exist in the corporate world. Uh, and gig work can exist in the corporate world because, you know, it's like your, your own freelance uh, temp agency where you're particularly good at a, a certain skill set that a company needs, but they don't want to hire you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, they'll just contracts you from time to time gig work and contra independent contractor kind of we need to make sure we understand like these are one and the same mm -hmm. so that could take a decline um 
But with YouTube, as an independent contractor and theoretically gig work, which YouTube isn't really gig work because for the gig work, you sign up and you get a gig and you get paid. Mm -hmm. For YouTube, there's no guarantee you're going to get paid. No. But here's the upside. Here's the infinite upside to YouTube is that you never need to get paid by YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can use YouTube as a marketing tool for inbound and outbound marketing to bring in opportunities, conversions, clients, leads, revenue, money, profit, income to your business because of YouTube. Mm -hmm. So if there are creators out here who are talking about the decline of their funds by way of a reduction in views, uh, a dip in ad revenue, whatever it may be, less sponsors or whatever, that's perfectly fine. But on every video, they have limitless opportunities of turning the connection to the audience into a profitable experience, which means that YouTube is by far probably the best form outside of TikTok, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, any gig where you have the ability to attract an audience rather than relying on an audience to request your services mm -hmm. leaves you with the infinite possibility of continuously getting paid. You'll just have to evolve on how you get paid. And that money may not come directly from YouTube, Google AdSense. Makes sense.